If you're uploading an SVG file, the only thing you have to do is name your file and save it. Once you have your image on your canvas, now you can resize it to whatever size you want to. Just make sure the little lock box up here, it remains checked. That way your proportions will remain intact. And you can also change the color of this image with the color box that is at the top left of your screen. There's other tools at the top of your screen. You can flip your image, rotate your image, and other things like that. We'll get into those in some later videos. Now you are ready to cut out your image. You just want to go ahead and at the bottom right hand side of your screen. If you're uploading, you will see a little icon that says attach. You want to click attach so that Cricut cuts it out exactly the way it appears on your screen. At this point, you can go ahead and select which mat size you want to use. Cricut already chooses the mat size for you according to the size of your image, but you can change the mat size if you need to do so. If you click on the three dots on the left side of the image, this lets you move your image to another mat, and this comes in handy if you're trying to fit all of your images on one piece of vinyl, or you can altogether hide the image. If you are using heat transfer vinyl, at this point you will want to mirror your image. If you're using regular vinyl, you'll leave this box unchecked. 